Hey everybody, John here from IncomeMesh.com. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to talk to you about seven different things you should be considering when picking your WordPress theme. Okay, so every single website needs to have a theme and we'll talk about a little bit with page builders coming in how that makes things a little bit muddier than it used to be. But every website and WordPress must have a theme and picking the right one can seem like an overwhelming task. By the end of this video, however, I'll give you seven things to think about to help you make the right decision as well as giving you a couple of recommendations of my own. All right, let's go ahead and dive in. So the first thing you want to keep in mind when picking a theme is the company who is behind the theme. And this is something that most people don't think about. You, you go in you search for a theme you look for one that looks pretty and you go with it but the company track record is a huge consideration because not all companies are going to be around tomorrow and the next day and all, all that stuff and you don't want your website to be deprecated and your website to be abandoned if that were to happen so picking the right company up front is huge so let's just take a couple of looks at the most popular themes out there so the 2019 theme, it's installed on every single website that is created right now. So you can see when you search inside the WordPress repository for the themes, you can see the ratings, the reviews, the number of active installs, all that good stuff. So here you've got 44 ratings at three and a half star reviews. Then you look at some of the more recommended ones, ones that I recommend as well. Astra by Brainstorm Force. These are all free themes, by the way, at over 2,200 five star reviews. You've got Ocean WP at over 2,500 five-star reviews. You even got Generate Press at you know, only 860 reviews, which is still huge, at five stars. So when you compare those to the 2019 theme, maybe going with default is not really the way to go. You want to make sure that the company is supporting it, growing it, and listening to customer feedback as they go through. So number two is the business model that is supporting these companies who develop these themes. So WordPress, as we go back over here, you know, that is the open source WordPress community. They have their own revenue streams. Is it directly tied to the success of the 2019 theme? Not so much, right? Everybody at this point knows you can switch off the default theme. So I'm not sure exactly how frequently the 2019 theme is kept updated and, and maintained by WordPress. So that is another kind of a red flag there with sticking with the default WordPress theme. However, Astra, they make money by selling premium versions. Brainstorm Force has a whole portfolio of other tools that help support their company. But Astra is kind of like the gateway drug into Brainstorm Force. It is a free theme, is a high quality free theme. And from there, Brainstorm Force knows you get into our ecosystem, we can sell you on uh, some other premium uh, products as well. So they're a company that is here, they have a solid business model, and it's one that can be trusted. Ocean WP, in a similar format, they have uh, other ex premium extensions that help support the development of their own themes. So you want to make sure that not only is the com is the theme good looking, but also is the company behind it in a you know, good state? Are they making money to where you can trust your online business with their software? Number three is performance. You know, we don't want a slow website. Nobody wants that. So what you can do is if you're looking at a couple of different websites or a couple of different themes and you want to test them out, you can use a tool. I'll put in the link in the description below, gtmetrics.com. That'll let you, uh, you know, load up the, load up the theme, do whatever you want to with it, and then run some speed tests. And the main thing you want to be looking at is not so much the fully loaded time because there's a lot of variability that can come in that. You know, it's depends on what type of a connection you get the first time you run it. But what you want to look at is the page size and the total requests, as well as, as some of these performance scores can be kind of indicative of what's going on with your website. I have a whole video tutorial on um, doing speed tests and kind of examining your speed test results. Uh, you can check that one out as well. But just looking here, I'm comparing Astra and the default 2019 theme. You know, most people assume, oh, the best performing theme in WordPress is going to be the default theme. Why would that not be true? It's logical, but it's not necessarily true. In this case, these are both very empty websites. There's not a lot going on here, but you can see when it comes to page size, Astra is actually a little bit smaller than the default 2019 theme. And as far as other performance metrics, it looks just as good. So don't assume that the free default WordPress theme is going to be your best performing theme. It's really not true. Number four is workflow. And this is a personal thing. Whatever workflow works best for you. What works best for me is being able to have some good global options, being able to set the color of my buttons and never have to worry about the color of my buttons again and things like that. And different themes have uh, their own customizer styles. You know, for example, Ocean WP has a lot of different options. It can be a little overwhelming and you can find yourself hunting and picking for the right selection for your own changes. And Astra has, I think, honestly, a bit more of a straightforward uh, customizer. So 
picking the workflow that works right for you. Even some premium themes that are not free themes, they don't have as many options as some of the ones I mentioned here in this video. So definitely you want to take a look at your workflow and see if your theme is meeting that need. Number five is customization options. So when you're in the customizer, does it allow you to change the header font size, the H1, the H2, the H3, the H4, some of those different things there. It seems a little silly right now, but if you find a theme that doesn't allow you to customize that level of granularity in a logical way, like talking about number four, you can find yourself really frustrated and not having a good time when it comes to changing all the, the typography of your entire website. So the customization options, you want to look for things like being able to set how wide your your container layout is. You know, do you like a very narrow blog? Do you like a very wide blog? I think narrow is better. Um, all those different options you want to make sure your theme has. Number six, integrations. And this is kind of a cherry on top of things. So when you want to build out a real business, you don't want to just have a blog. You might want to also sell things using WooCommerce. And so you want to make sure your theme has good, uh, good customizer settings with the WooCommerce area where you can change the layouts of your products, of your pages, and all those different aspects. You may also want to bring in a learning management system like a learn dash into your website. And this is very theme dependent on whether the layouts, the styles of a learn dash or a lifter LMS will be well supported with your website. The list goes on and on, obviously, of all the different functionality you can add to a website. The main thing you want to look for, though, is that the web, the theme you're using has broad support of the most popular tools that are out there in WordPress. Lastly, number seven, this is the personal one, right? Like it needs to work for you. And what I would recommend you do is set up a dummy website. If you're using Bluehost through my affiliate link, you'll be able to create as many websites as you want on that plan and just use a couple as a test bed and test it out, see what it looks like, play around with it and see if it works for you. Uh, you know, some of the best themes out there, I'm not as big of a fan of just because of my own personal preference and what I look for in a website. But if you keep in mind all the things we just talked about, the real deciding factor is what website theme are, is, is going to be good for you, what's going to make you happy to work in because you'll be working in it quite a lot in the future. All right, guys, so that was seven different things you should be considering when you're figuring out your own WordPress theme. If you would like to take my brand new free course, Memberships Made Easy, I'm getting awesome feedback about the course already. Go ahead and click on the link in the description below. It's incomemesh.com slash MME. That'll give you free access to the course. It will teach you how to get a free membership site up and running in under an hour, and it'll look super professional, and I think you'll love it. If you appreciated these videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the like button, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.